Tonight, 36 years after first appearing on Cherokee Street, a well-known Native American statue has been removed. Fox 2's Stephanie Rothman joins us live from there with the latest on why that statue was taken down. Stephanie? Well, the decision was quick during last night's community meeting. The public voted that they wanted to remove the statue. As you can see, all that's left now are these small pieces of broken wood from the base, a clear sign that the neighborhood said they no longer wanted the statue. Times are changing on Cherokee Street. The 13-foot statue commissioned to depict the native people with the same name is now gone in the blink of an eye. It had pros and cons about who wanted to keep and who wanted to, to go, but there always was this idea that maybe it's time it passed. As the owner of the new comic book store overlooking the statue, Martin Casas tells us the decision was a long time coming. I moved here 15 years ago, and the topic of removing the statue was something, something everybody talked about all the time. Winning a majority of the vote, the public finally takes action, taking down the statue and moving it across the river to the National Building Arts Center, where it will serve as a learning tool. In a statement, the Cherokee Street Community Improvement District says the statue does not appropriately honor the indigenous communities that have called this land home. The artist who created the statue agrees and voted in favor of its removal. Values another small business down the street agrees with. If we're going to erect another statue, it should be reflective of our values, which are not colonialism. They're not um, genocide. It's not anything like that. Like if we want to celebrate Native American culture and remember Native American culture, we should we should enlist the help of actual Native Americans to do that. Some who visit the area often have mixed feelings. We had a lot of Instagram pics with it. Kind of sucks seeing it go away, but I think it's for a good benefit. It's very well known and if anyone is trying to describe this like Cherokee Street or the South Side, they would they would um, actually know what it is because of the statue. Now it's up to the community to decide what will next define Cherokee Street. The Art Center houses the nation's largest collection of building artifacts, and the hope is moving the statue will create a better understanding of the history with much more context than it would have here on the street. Reporting on Cherokee Street, Stephanie Rothman, Fox 2 News.